What's up everyone, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to use Polar Steps. So this is a full Polar Steps tutorial where we'll be showing you the different aspects of Polar Steps and how you can use it to your advantage. So here we have Polar Steps, we're going to open it and you have a nice animated globe moving and you also have your username now this is assuming you've created your account and now this is mine and you can see rex top and i have some status underneath it leave laugh and learn if you tap on it it's going to give you details such as first name last name city and of course you have your text down there which of course you could tap on and edit it as you wish then you could also tap to change your picture basically how your profile would be. So at the end, you can tap and done at the top area there, and then you have everything saved. Now you have country followers and following. Now this is a utility and social platform where you can put in the number of countries you've been traveling to, and you could also have those who you're following and those who are following you. Now, one of the functions we love about Polar Steps is a feature where you can have a mapping of your trip. And that's why it's called Polar Steps. Now here we have two trips, which we've added using the Add Trip button. We have the Winter Vacay and the trip to Florida. You could also see the date, the number of days, the miles that have been spent, etc. Now, of course, you could add a trip in the past, a current trip or a future trip. Now, this option is left to you. The button down here to add it and the button at the top here is basically for the same purpose. Then, of course, you have your travel stats. When you tap on it, it's going to give you the travel stats of where you've been to. So we've been to the United States, North America, and you can see it right there. Number of days, 60 days. And this is a summary of the stats of your steps, basically. Now, of course, at the bottom, you have guides. Now, when you tap on guides, it's going to show you a nice map of different areas or different places where you can go to or if you're in certain places in the world you could use polar steps to find out interesting vacation spots tourist spots places you'd love to visit for sure so polar steps helps you in doing that then you also have activity it says here you're not following any travelers yet you need to find more friends on polar steps you can connect your contact or search for friends now this activity is basically showing you a summary of your activity between you and others while using polar steps then at the bottom still you have notifications up next where you of course will be getting your notifications for the different things you're doing right here on polar steps do take note that you need to allow access to the app for location from your phone settings and also enable notifications then you have the explore button at the bottom right corner as we showed you before with the guides the explore in this case you can use this to actually search for people or search for places. So this is also interactive in its own right. And you can tap on the search icon right here and tap on Norway, for example, tap on search and you can see people, right? And then also you can tap on trips at the top here and you can see different places where you might be interested in. The last thing we'd like to show you is to go back home and then how you can add a trip. Now for the trip we've had already, we can tap on winter vacay. Of course you could change the name as you want. And then we actually gave this a cozy rest in the offs. This was just a random text filler. And you can see we had New York, Virginia and Illinois. Now, of course, you could use this to track your steps. For example, from New York, we went to Virginia. And if you had a stop in between, you can tap on the plus icon right there. And then you could pinch in or pinch out. Look for where you went to. If you went to Minnesota, you could tap on it and then select at the top right corner. And you're going to provide details such as the step name, the arrival date and the arrival time. And you could also add photos and videos by tapping on it. You could tap to add a photo, choose from the library or select photos on that particular day or the period which you were there. So this is a nice feature. And of course you could add to tap spots and activities to help you track where you've been. Then you could tap on publish. And when we pinch in, you can see how Polar Steps maps out your movement. So from New York, no longer Virginia, but this time we had a stop at Minnesota before going to Virginia. So these are the features where you can use Polar Steps to your advantage. And we hope at this point you're able to use Polar Steps better to your advantage and make your trips more documented and more informative. So this is how to use Polar Steps.